the state of Pennsylvania is the worst in the United States for excessive periods of parole, meaning supervision after you come out of jail. It is the second worst in the United States for excessive parole and probation combined. Mm -hmm. That's pretty terrible. Mm -hmm. And what makes it even worse is that the worst state in the United States for excessive parole is Georgia, but Georgia has now changed its laws. Mm -hmm. So pretty soon, within the next few years, Pennsylvania is gonna become the worst state in the United States. Philadelphia has 40,000 people on probation and parole, and by mm -hmm. comparison, New York City, all five boroughs have 12,700 people. Right. We're talking about a city that is five or six times larger than Philly, yet they have 12,700 people, Philly has 40,000. You know, Pennsylvania has some weird laws, and one of them says that your period on parole or probation has to be at least as long as the period of time you spend in jail. In many states, that is not true. You can do two years in jail, and you can have no supervision whatsoever, or you can have supervision. In Pennsylvania, the hands of the judges are tied, so they cannot give you a shorter period of supervision than the period of time you do in jail. That is a problem. But it got even worse in Pennsylvania because the culture that developed was a lot of times your supervision would be twice as long, or three or four times as long, as the period of time that you spent in jail. That makes us all less safe. It means probation officers have caseloads that are too big, so they cannot supervise the people they need to supervise the most. And it also means, and this is not my opinion, this is science, it means that because they're on such long periods of parole and probation, they fail. What the science shows is that in the first 13 months, supervision can do a lot of good. Even over the first three years, some good can come of it. But after three years, people who are supervised do worse than if they had been supervised less. They are more likely to end up back in jail. They are more likely to commit crimes. You know, if you think about it at the personal level, think about someone who comes out of jail, they get a job, they're providing for their family, but they're being supervised for five years instead of what maybe should have been two. So in year four, their boss is now sick of them going to the probation officer every single week. It's mm -hmm. an employee he can't use right. for a particular day. And a tough day comes when the employer really needs that employee to be there. The employee says, boss, I gotta go. And the boss says, no, you don't. I need you. So that person is either gonna miss their appointment with the PO, which can put them back in jail, or they're gonna have to leave a job that's keeping them away from crime. They're gonna lose that job. And it also means if they lose the job, they're not gonna be able to pay their supervision fee to parole and probation, they may be put back in jail for that. So there is a good period of time for supervision. Philadelphia and Pennsylvania are just way, way beyond where they should be with how long those periods of time are. Meek Mill had a fairly short sentence of incarceration, but it was about 10 years before his supervision and his popping a wheelie and doing a few other things that aren't crimes resulted in his getting a two-year sentence. Mm -hmm. If you put me, me, on five or 10 years of supervision, where I was expected to dot every I and cross every T, I might have a bad day. Mm -hmm. We are setting up trip wires mm -hmm. for people. So even when what occurs is minor, mm -hmm. if that's the excuse for putting them back in jail for years, that doesn't do us much good. And you know, the problem I have is that we have a legislature, we have lawmakers in the state who are not ready to change the law as much as they should. But we in Philadelphia need to be safe. We need to use our resources for the things that are gonna prevent crime in the long run. So we have to do in Philadelphia what we can right now to make the situation better. And hopefully the lawmakers will catch up with us in a few years.